What's going on everyone? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. So this is what I have created here using the same music video. I just took some samples and created this. So I'm going to push play so you guys can see how I created this. It's very, very easy. You'll be actually surprised on how you can do this without any plugins, by the way. All of these effects don't require any special plugins. I'm going to scale this all the way up to about 130%. So that way when we rotate, we don't have any black edges on on the outside of the video frame. Move the time head to the beginning. I'm gonna make a copy. So hold down option and drag upwards to make a copy. And uh, there we go. So I'm going to now select the top clip and I'm going to go to the effects over here and I'm gonna go down to the masks. I'm gonna go to draw mask and drag and drop that onto the top clip. And now you're gonna have the draw mask effects applied to this for now. So once you're at this point, what you want to do is go up to where it says 73% click on the down arrow and go to 50%. Now you're gonna have the option to add a control point. All you have to do is make sure that the time end is at the beginning and you want to click once on the left side and hold shift to create a straight line across. And then you can just go like this, click on invert mask so you guys don't get confused. I'm gonna go and disable the bottom clip so you can see what's happening. So this is applied to our top clip and we've masked out so far the bottom. Going to go to the invert mask over here and click on this button. So now everything is going to be on the top. So uh, nothing appears in the selection that we've created. So now we can re-enable the bottom clip by pressing V. Select the top clip now. And what I'm going to do is go back to fit. And you're going to have the rotation option. I'm going to click on the little plus icon to add a keyframe. So I'll click on this button and right click on the video on the top one and go to show video animation. I'm going to have the timeline at the beginning and I'm going to move the time head around here now rotate it so um, what I'm going to do is move the time head at the beginning and once you're at this point all you're going to do is go to the rotation and just rotate this either this way or this way it doesn't really matter and we can adjust the mask so click on the draw mask and now we click the bottom line and just drag this out of the frame now we're going to move the time head all the way towards the ending around here and what we want to do is now type in for the rotation, we're going to type in zero, press enter. Now when I push play, it's going to look like this and it looks pretty cool. However, we want to do the same thing for the bottom clip. So I'm going to exit out of the video animation for the top clip, select the bottom one, right click, go to show video animation. Great. Now we're going to add another keyframe. So right next to the rotation, click this plus icon. And then from this point, we're going to rotate it the other way like so uh, maybe less than that, maybe around here. We don't want to see the black edges there. You can also scale this as well if you really wanted to, but that might uh, that might actually affect the outcome. So just leave it how it is, just rotate it. Now move the time head to where it was left before. So click on this top clip and go to show video animation again. So the, the last keyframe is here. So click on this right there, click on the bottom clip. And now we're going to type in, in the rotation, we can type in uh, zero, press enter. So now when we push play, it's going to look like this and it looks super, super cool. Now there is at the top a bit of this going on. You can of course scale the whole entire clip so you don't see that. So I'm going to get rid of the top, the bottom and the top video animation. I'm gonna select both of these clips. I'm gonna right click and go to new compounds clip. I'm gonna name this effect one for the time being. Perfect. And now I'm going to actually scale this so we don't see that. Let's move on to effect number two. All right, so for the second effect, I'm calling this one the video over spinning video effect. So if I push play, you're gonna see that this is the version that I've created. I think it looks pretty great. Maybe we could have flipped these videos and it might have created a different effect. All right, so what you wanna do for this effect is have two different videos with two different scenes. So click and drag this one on top like this. I'm gonna select the top clip. I'm gonna go over here and click the down arrow. I'm gonna go to the crop option and I'm gonna go to the trim option and you're gonna have these little blue slash purple control points and I'm gonna select the top one, the top center piece and click and drag this downwards to about here and I'm gonna do the same thing for the bottom center piece. So I'm gonna click and drag upwards to kind of create like a, kind of like an invisible letterbox. So now when I click on, I'm gonna make this a little more dramatic here. I'm gonna click on done and now if I push play, it's going to look like this looks pretty good. However, the only thing that we need to do is actually create the, 
the video behind it to actually spin. So what we can do is split this clip by pressing Command B so that it only affects this piece and not the whole entire clip. Then you want to go into the transform and go to where you see the scale option, which is right here. I increased this a lot to about 185%. This is what it would have looked like. So if I go back and press Command Z, I've just scaled it. It's okay, it's gonna be covered anyways. So now I'm gonna go into the, rota the rotation and click and drag this all the way like this. Now we're gonna add a keyframe next to rotation, add a keyframe there, making sure that the time head is at the beginning, move the playhead to the end, and now type in next to rotation 29 degrees, type in zero degrees, press enter, and this will have it go back to how it was originally. So if I push play, it's gonna look like this. It's a really trippy and very simple, easy effect that requires no plugins. Moving on to effect number three. All right, so for number three, that's going to be the collage reveal effect. This is the effect that I have done with this sample here from the music video. If I push play, you're going to see it looks exactly like the other one. What you want to do for this effect, it's very simple. You're going to have two different clips with two different scenes. You have this one here, which is going to be the video before it, and this one, which is going to overlap that video. Very simple. All you have to do is make a copy. So hold down option on your keyboard and drag upwards to make a copy. Then all you got to do is drag this all the way to the left. Go to the effects over here, the masks, go to draw mask and drag that directly onto that clip. Go to the 73%. All you got to do is go back to 50% so you can see the outer edges. You want to make about a rough cut so you can split it either in thirds, in fourths, in fifths. However you want to do it, you can do it halfway if you wanted to. I'm going to do it in thirds just because you know, rule the thirds, I think it looks the best. So I'm going to click here and hold shift and click the bottom here to make a straight perfect line and then just go ahead and finish off the selection. Hold option and make another copy. Select the new clip, which is this top one. And now I'm gonna do is select the left red line here and click and drag this and overlap it on the new one, like over here. And then just do the same thing. Hold option and drag upwards and then select the very top clip and then all I gotta do is on the left red line, click in between and drag it all the way on the other side and you're done. Just kidding, no, you're not done. So once you're at this point, all you have to do is disable by pressing V temporarily. This only hides the clip, it doesn't delete it. So I'm gonna hide that one, I'm gonna hide the middle clip and I'm gonna work with the first one so that way we don't get confused. Now I'm gonna go into the transform over here and you're gonna have position X and Y X controls the X axis left and right, and Y axis controls up and down. So I'm going to add a keyframe once we have the playhead at the beginning of the clip, of course. I'm going to add a keyframe right here. If you either want it to come from bottom up, then move the clip to the bottom. If you want the clip to come from the top down, then just do the opposite. Have the clip come up like this, right? It's gonna start at the top and it's gonna come down doesn't really matter how you do it. I'm gonna start it like this. Now I'm gonna go a couple of frames over, maybe, I don't know, around here. Now what I'm going to do is click on this button right here. It's not a button, but it's a number. Click on it for the Y axis and type in zero, enter. And now if we go back and push play, it's going to animate and it looks really cool. So once we're at this point, we can go a couple of frames, maybe around here. We want the next one to appear. So. We can either go with the next one, have it cover the middle one or the right one. I am going to go for the last clip, which is this top one. So click on the top one and you can see it being selected so you know what's happening. I'm gonna select this one and press V to re-enable the clip. So I'm gonna do the same thing as the first clip. So all I'm gonna do is go back down to transform, add a keyframe next to position, drag the Y axis up out of the frame, then move the playhead a couple of frames in around here, click on the numbers next to Y, type in zero and press enter. And now if you go back and we push play, it's going to look like this and it looks really, really cool. Maybe you don't want it to go that way, no problem, just undo it. And I'm gonna click on this one here and I'm just gonna move it how we just did it except the other way. I think the other way would look a lot better. So now what we're gonna do is just do the same thing. So just move the playhead around here, maybe there, and then type on uh, the numbers, type in zero and press enter. All right, so this is what it looks like so far. Looks pretty good. And uh, once it goes from here, I wanna go a couple of frames over right there, and then I'm going to re-enable it, so press V. And then from this point, all you want to do is go onto the Y axis and move this from the bottom 
move it to the bottom, add a keyframe, and then go a couple of frames over. And then you want to type on the zero, type in or on the numbers and type in zero for the y-axis and press enter. And now if I go back and I push play, it's going to look like that and it looks super clean. And of course, this would be a completely different scene. And that's exactly how they did this. So please leave a like if you guys found this video helpful. Comment down below and be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss out on a video like this one. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.